Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. And today I'm gonna to be doing a product review on this ring seal smoke repair high mileage formula by Rishlone. Let's go ahead and get started. I have a vehicle that I'm working on and we're gonna go over and take a look at it in a minute. But it looks like we're having issues with the piston rings, maybe having a little bit of a leak needing to be replaced. Rather than get into the whole project, I figured this is a good opportunity to do a product review. So I went online checked out different ones that are recommended this one came highly recommended so went to the store was checking out different ones and then made a decision to pick this one up and i figured let's do a product review and see if it does what it claims that it can do now i have other product reviews that i've done for other products for catalytic converters and oil stop leaks head gasket seals all that stuff i'll have them down in the, in the description if you want to check those out as well and see how they fared out but for this one here we have the one here by Rislone. so let me get a close-up of the container so we can see what it can do and we'll read the directions on how to do it put it to use and see if it's all that it claims to be on the container it mentions right here, high mileage formula, ring seal smoke repair, stops blue exhaust smoke, seals worn pistons and rings, and reduces oil burning. Formulated to stop smoking in older, high, higher mileage engines over 75,000 miles. Add to engine oil at any time. We flip it over. Ring seal smoke repair is formulated to help stop exhaust smoke reduce oil burning and prevent plug fouling caused by blow-by. Contains high shear polymers which provide a seal for worn pistons and rings to stop blow-by. Cushions and coats engine parts helping to reduce wear and quiet noisy lifters. Retains oil flow characteristics in hot and cold weather. Works on all four six and eight cylinder vehicles used on any gasoline or diesel engine. Works with conventional high mileage and synthetic engine oils. Instruction, add the entire bottle of ring seal smoke repair to engine crankcase at or between oil changes. This particular vehicle, the oil's already been changed, so we're gonna be adding it to existing. Idle or drive engine for five minutes after installation. Add ring seal smoke repair every 2,000 miles or with every oil change. If smoke continues, second, uh, second application may be required or mechanical attention is needed. One bottle treats four to six quarts of oil for regular four, six, and eight cylinder engines. For larger engines, use one bottle for every five quarts of capacity on four stroke ATV, motorcycle, and small engines, including wet clutch applications. Use approximately three ounces per quart of oil capacity. So it's pretty simple, right to the point. Let's open up the hood and start applying this to the vehicle. So this particular vehicle, I just finished doing a lot of work to it. We had an issue with the valve stem seals leaking. Also the um, gaskets on the valve cover, the intake manifold gaskets did that, did the spark plug, spark plug wires, ignition coil packs, a, a lot of things were done that were causing some of the issues. We were getting a lot of fouling on the spark plugs, oil onto the pistons because of the valve stem seals. Once all that was corrected, we also put an endoscopic camera into the cylinders to take a look at that notice some still a little bit of oil on the tops of the pistons which is leading me to the piston rings before i go taking everything apart re and removing the pistons to replace the rings that's where i were trying this product so if you want to see the video some of the videos that i just mentioned for things that i had to do on this i'll have them down in the description also across the top but we're going to go ahead now we're going to open up the crankcase so we can start pouring this additive in follow the directions and then we'll see what it does at that point i'm not getting any smoke or anything because that was corrected with some of the other things that that i corrected but we still will head to the back see if there's anything coming out at all but there there is a a strong exhaust odor still coming through and we're still getting a random misfire because of the fouling still hitting some of the spark plugs so i'm going to start it up we'll head to the back so you can see a little bit of smoke going on and then we'll add it in and then follow the steps What you can't unfortunately pick up in this video is there's a rough idle coming out, very strong exhaust smell. So you're not seeing the smoke, which can sometimes be an issue, 
But on this one here, we're not getting that, but definitely getting the rough idle because of the random misfire and a very strong exhaust smell. So let's head over to the crankcase and we'll start putting it in. They don't mention it on the container, but what I like to do is just take out the dipstick, make sure your oil levels are good. If you just did your oil and you're filled to capacity, I know there's not a lot in here. This is only 16 ounces, but I don't like to overfill it. So if it is topped off, maybe let a little bit of the oil out, or if you're doing a full oil change, make sure that you compensate for this. So that way you're not going over your capacity. Once that's done, Take a key or something sharp, pop that out. Now we can add this. Some people may want to use a funnel. I like to pour it direct because then, especially when you're dealing with some of these thicker substances they you get stuff stuck in the funnel so i like to just pour it directly in that way it goes straight into the crankcase you can see how thick that is i mean you got to pour a little bit and let it work its way down seal that back up Let's start the vehicle and run it as they recommend. All right. I'm going to start the car now. And as the instructions on this say, we're going to go ahead and let it idle. You can either drive it or let it idle. I'm going to let it idle for five minutes, let it work through, and then we'll see what the results are. So it's been actually a little more than five minutes now and we've ran it through as we saw on the tailpipe it seems to be idling a little more solid even in here it's not as as um, bumpy or um, like rough idle with that so I'm going to go ahead and connect the diagnostic reader to it I had cleared out the codes beforehand we just had a random misfire code but I cleared it out so we're going to go ahead and test it now and see how that looks but it's already feeling a lot better looking here no check engine light is on. Let's look at the diagnostic reader. Okay, so we are seeing still the pending misfire. Not confirmed, so it did pick up something to put it into a pending status. So we saw the product in action for this Rislone ring seal smoke repair. And that wraps up this product review. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it probably probably a 6 or a 7. Let's say 6.5. Put it right there in the middle. And the reason why is because I feel a difference in the vehicle's performance. I don't smell the strong exhaust coming through like we did before. However, as we saw, we're still getting a, a random misfire, the P0300, which is a random misfire, which can be caused by a lot of things. Um, but it wasn't a pending state. It hadn't been confirmed yet. So... I don't know how that's going to fare out. As they mentioned here, sometimes a second application is needed. It is a very thick additive, so you've got to be careful with that because if your vehicle is a 5W20 or things like that that requires a thinner oil, you want to be careful you don't overload it too much with the thick stuff in there. So they recommend, if need be, putting a second application. In some cases, as they mentioned, you may need to take it to a mechanic if it's something beyond that. I may try putting a second one in here and see what it does. But if not, I was planning on doing the actual piston uh, ring seals on this car eventually. I just figured I would give this a shot, see what happens. So like I said, scale of 1 to 10, 6.5. That wraps up this product re review. I hope it was informative for you. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.